Has the, um, so Illinois is actually about to pass the legalization of marijuana. Obviously, it's been like that here for a little while. Yeah. Has that helped your business or changed or noticed any difference? I mean, look what's on the belt right now. Either cannabis industry or something that has to do with cannabis industry. But you think of whether it's cannabis or education or tech, if you add 500 to 1,000 new businesses into a city, it's obviously going to stimulate the economy. So whether you're a weed fan or whatever, I think about the jobs that it creates, think about the revenue that it creates. It funnels all the way down. 100%. And I mean, it's regulated. It does wonderful things for tax dollars. A lot of money has gone back to schools and a lot of money has gone back to the homeless population. That's what we talked about at lunch today or breakfast. It's like, what do you do with the homeless population? Well, you invest in people and get them mental care so they don't end up in this habitual pattern. So I think the tax dollars and revenue made from the cannabis industries not just helped our industry because we're producing shirts, but it helps the economy as a whole because it's pumping revenue into the economy, tax dollars into the economy, creating jobs, creating housing market demand. We've benefited immensely from it. And yeah, cost of living goes up, but that's, that's just a sign of business booming. I mean, that's going to happen. It's exciting, especially for, I mean, there's a ton of shops in Chicago and Illinois as a whole, so. Yeah. Well, and you think about all the employees that need merchandising. It's not just like, I don't think like weed stuff is cool. I don't want to wear a weed leaf either, but there's subtle branding and different Or events facets, they're doing. Events, giveaways, mm-hmm. merchandising, and then, you know, obviously employee wear. Plus they have retail opportunities too. They all have stores. 